Welcome to another adventure vlog. This was a wet one. A very wet one. Not today, Sheffield Pie Shop. Not today. After resisting the temptation of a lackluster pie, I drained my bank account into the Land Rover's fuel tank and headed for Hamner Springs. This one comes with kind of a crazy story. About a year ago now, we were approached by a guy called Mike Gilbert to make him a video. Mike was an entrepreneur, a husband, a father, and a motorcycle enthusiast. He also had stage four cancer. He had somehow convinced Motor Mart Harley Davidson in Wellington to loan him the brand new Harley Davidson Pan America, even though he was really a Ducati guy. I'll circle back around to Mike in a bit, but for now, on with the trip. Ah, oh, yep, pull out in front of me. Great. This genius thinks the drum brakes on this rig actually work. And then the Land Rover was hijacked by some kind of extremist. After regaining control of my vehicle, we headed out of town up a steep pass into the mountains. And everything was going fine, everything was going great. A little bit wet, but no drama. And then my heart sank. I have a confession to make, I'm also a Toyota owner, and we've lent it to Sam and Ruth for this trip. Luckily, not a big problem. Turns out this idiot, yep, that's me, left the radiator cap loose. Look how happy Tess is. Tess is like, ha ha. Tessa is looking particularly smug because she has also made this mistake and now she is not the only one. So as per Toyota factory specifications, we filled the radiator with dirty tap water and went on our way. Climbing into the fog. Okay, back to the story about Mike. Where was I? Oh yeah. When Mike approached us about filming him on this motorcycle, we were totally unprepared, but we knew we had to do it. The initial idea was to follow him for an afternoon of riding around Marlborough. But in what we discovered would be typical Mike fashion, it turned into a four day adventure all over the South Island. Probably the most special day of that trip was off-roading here in the Molesworth. Today, the weather was really reminding me of when we were here with Mike. Turning off the main road, we soon found ourselves on a high plateau, and I felt like I was transported to somewhere like Mongolia. Never been to Mongolia. Truth be told, I just wanted an excuse to use this oriental sounding music. Jessie did a great job flying the drone here, really put her body on the line. In fact, she uh, actually ended up with a bit of a donk on the head. You'll notice there's not much drone footage for the next little while. Um, she was just feeling a bit sore and, uh, and I was feeling quite bad about the pothole that I didn't see. In Hamner Springs, there's hot pools that kind of suck. They're touristy, they're overpriced, and they're overcrowded. I'm not a fan. But for years, I've heard rumors of secluded, secret, mountain hot pools. So my main objective on this trip is to find those hot pools. In the interests of keeping them secret, I'm going to become irritatingly vague from this point on. 
Come on, son. Woo. Hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take this opportunity to thank Toyo Tires. I'm actually running inner tubes on this truck and on this occasion it was the inner tube that had failed. These tires are actually bulletproof. Do you ever find yourself out in the cold and rain changing a tire? Do you want to be stylish, dry and warm? Well you should get yourself a jacket like Ben's wearing here from Outback Trading, the other sponsor of this video. Unfortunately, between my flat tire and us not really knowing the way to these mythical hot springs, we had to admit defeat, so we headed back down the valley in search of the hut we wanted to stay in that night. I was gutted. I really could have done with a soak. What do you reckon about this hut? Yeah, I reckon Okay, let's do it. Handsome. <laughs> So the real coincidence of this trip and the connection with Mike is that we just so happened to mention to Mike's wife Sam that we were coming up here and she told us that tomorrow would actually be Mike's 47th birthday. And on top of that I had decided to bring whiskey and all of the ingredients to make an old fashioned, which as it turns out is Mike's favourite cocktail. I just couldn't believe we were going to be here for his birthday and be drinking his favourite drink. It was also fitting. <laughs> we actually ended up making a film about Mike's adventure. It's on our YouTube channel and it's called The Last Ride. Happy birthday, Mike. Cheers to you. That morning through the mist, we could hear stags roaring in the distance. But after an unsuccessful hunt, we headed back down and decided that it was time to find the hot springs.
slow, let it idle down in first. Temperature check from Sam. We are on. We spent a good amount of time here. Sufficiently prunified, we hopped in the trucks and attempted to leave. <laughs> so I'm going to end the video there and leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification to find out when I finally get around to editing part two. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>